This is Huawei BOM WXX9 notebook. It's quite latest, it came with Windows 11, but recently the Windows gives a lot of problems. So we thought, let's change it. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the USB boot correctly in this Huawei laptop. So as you can see, this is the setup page. So what you need to do first, we need to switch it off completely and plug in our bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive. And nowadays, UEFI is the most preferable environment for installing Windows. So we're gonna press and hold F2 while it's turning on. Once we keep holding the F2 button, it's gonna take us directly to the BIOS screen. So the good news is, by default, this machine does have the settings for UEFI USB boot. So you don't need to do that much anything. In case if it doesn't, then you need to change a couple of options that you can see. Make sure if the USB selected disabled, make sure you make it enable. Also HDD, the second one, you need to make it enable. All right, once it saved, that's pretty good. You don't need to go through boot priority option because what are you going to do? We're going to save this and then we keep holding F12 button. Once we keep holding F12 button while it's restored, it's going to take us to temporary boot option. And from here, as you can see, the bottom one is my USB. So I'm going to select it and hit enter. So it's going to load up. Doesn't no matter if this is Windows 10 or 11, it should take it. Now, the key point is how you're going to build the USB because bootable USB if it is not correctly burned then obviously when you try the USB it might be it's not going to be recognizable so if you don't see from the temporary boot option your USB is not available then definitely there is an issue in between the laptop and the bootable USB stick okay might be there is some physical misconnection you need to double check you need to try from the different port if the connection is fine, then you need to double check while you created your USB stick, if that was created correctly or not, because there are two types. One is MBR, master boot record and GPT. All right. So if you select it for GPT, then it's going to give you the outcomes of UEFI. All right. So pretty much that's all. Now we're going to set this up. We're going to delete all the partition, by the way. If you delete everything, you're going to lose all of your, your data. So be careful. Make sure. At this point, make sure you backed up your data. Otherwise, you're going to lose everything. I'm going to delete every single partition because I just need a single partition from the entire drive. And once everything deleted, we're going to hit next button. And then the main installation would progress. That might take 10 to 15 minutes and then it should be done. By the way, I have been experienced with this machine a driver issues once the Windows installed. So you might have there is no drivers, mean no sounds, uh, trackpad might be doesn't work, or let's say the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Don't worry, at this point what you have to do, you have to update the drivers. So before end of this video, I had a little clip in there to show you how to update your drivers correctly for this machine. 